Hey everybody, this is JP Hunt Winningsoft, and in this video I want to showcase a really exciting new feature that has just been released to the Inksoft Online Store framework, and this is the ability to create custom pages for any of your Inksoft powered online stores. So there are so many use cases and upside as it relates to sales and marketing and e-commerce. So let me first bring exposure into how you use the custom page functionality, and then we'll conclude with giving you some insights into that sales and marketing uh, use cases that are available to you. Okay, so first things first, uh, once you log into your Inksoft account and you navigate to stores, you of course can navigate to the online store that you wish to create a custom page or even edit pages in the event you've already built some. So of course, once I navigate to a store, I'm gonna click Style Editor and I'll bring your attention to the left-hand side. So of course, we have the style controls for this online store. So you'll notice the new navigation item uh, at the very bottom, which says Pages. And the first prompt is to add a page. So I'll go ahead and make that selection. And here, when I click Add Page, you'll be prompted to add a custom page title. So in this case, I'll go ahead and title this page. Now, of course, you want to make this commonsensical so you can always refer to it later and know exactly what that page is intended to do. Um, you also notice that you can control the URL for that particular page. So think, you know, yourwebsite.com slash, you know, what would um, the, the navigation item, you know, uh, you know, be. So in this case, I could just type in about. So if my customers go to mywebsite.com slash about, uh, that's where that custom page will be hosted and maintained. Now you'll also see uh, by default publish page is toggled on. So when I click create, this custom page is now going to be available in the navigation and it's going to be publicly available. So here you can make the decision whether you want to publish the page immediately or you can uh, deselect and you can sort of work on this custom page in a sort of a draft state and then make the decision later to publish it to make it publicly, publicly available. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and leave the toggle on and I'm going to click create. And you'll notice two things. First and foremost, at the left hand side, you'll see the page about us now appear. So as you build these custom pages, they'll go ahead and position themselves here. And then you have the control by clicking the ellipse icon to either edit, copy, or delete. And of course, edit, as the name implies, will allow you to edit that custom page and add your custom content. We'll take you through that workflow in a moment's time. Copy is the second option. So let's say you build a custom page and you need to create a derivative or a variation of that page and you don't want to start from scratch. So what I can do is copy any page, modify the copy, and of course, save those changes. So really useful feature for your productivity purposes and to spare you time. And the third option, as the name implies, is pretty straightforward, delete. And that's the ability to permanently remove that particular page. All right, so let's uh, give you another example here. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and create a new page and we'll call this services. Another use case for this feature is to build out uh, services and maybe a, you know, a showcase and about us. We'll get into use cases in more in a moment's time. So go ahead and give this a page uh, URL slug of services as well. And I'm going to go ahead and toggle off, meaning I don't want this page to be public just yet. And I'm going to go ahead and click create. So the way we differentiate you know, published pages versus unpublished is you'll see that there's a little eye icon with a slash through it. And that means that that's obviously not published. So it's a quick way to infer which pages are public and which ones are set to unpublished. Now, one other thing I want to point out, as soon as you create a page and publish it, it's going to display in the navigation. So you can see here we have about us displays in the header navigation. And at the same time, if I scroll the very bottom footer under navigation, it also displays. So what I'm going to do is click edit for that particular page. And notice if I toggle off publish, notice from the header and the footer, that custom page is not uh, viewable. So again, that's the purpose of published versus unpublished. Is it accessible uh, in the navigation? Um, so you can make that decision for each individual page. Okay, so once you click edit for any of your custom pages, at the very top, you can delete a page, you can override or change the page title and even the URL for that particular page. Um, and you also have the copy page prompt as well. So really the main workflow is really straightforward. Once you create a custom page, it's now time to add custom content. And really how we empower you to create pages really quickly is we give you access to the entire component library. So of course, this is what makes Inksoft so distinct and unique from an online store framework is we have this feature rich library of different components that serve very specific purposes, right? So fundraising component, call to action, you know, lead generation, request a quote, 
custom content, product positioning. So really I can leverage all of these components to build a custom page. So in this case, I'm gonna grab the featured component, featured product component and place that on that page, but I can go add more and more of those components and really choose where to position those to build a custom landing page that's appropriate for whatever marketing or sales or practical initiative I have before me. So in this case, I'll go ahead and publish that particular page and I can go back here uh, to all of my pages and again, continue to add new pages and modify those pages. Okay, so that really explains the custom page functionality. You can see it's really straightforward, it's simple and fast. But let me give you a few other insights here because we've been talking about as you add these custom pages and you publish them, they become available in the header and the footer of your online store. So there's the ability to control and have a say in which of those items display and how they display. So what I'm gonna do is hover my mouse over the header component and I'll click edit. And of course, this is gonna give me the ability to do two things, to choose whether I want that custom page to display in the header. So I can go ahead and toggle display link and that will control whether that link does actually display to my uh, prospective customers or customers alike when they visit the online store. Now in this case, when you choose to display link, if somebody navigates to the URL that you know, the custom page is maintained on, they can still access the page. This is just making the decision whether to make that available in the navigation. So here's a good example, and I'll get into one of the use cases right out of the gates. Let's say you're doing an outbound email marketing campaign. Maybe it's, it's uh, we're moving into hooded sweatshirt season, long sleeve uh, shirt season. You wanna promote your favorite trending popular options uh, that relate to that marketing campaign. You could build a custom page you could add whatever components you want, including featured products. So you could have your eight blank hooded sweatshirts for your clients to browse from. Um, you know, that's such a specific marketing campaign. It, it probably wouldn't be very relevant to have that display in the header of your website. The header is really reserved for the main and important navigation um, areas on your website. So again, I could build a custom page. I could tie it to any of my marketing campaigns and then choose whether I want it to display publicly on my, in my main navigation. Now, another feature you have here um, is you can control and override the page title as the navigation item. So maybe I don't want this to say about us, which is the default page title. I just want it to say about because I want to declutter the navigation here. So I can just type in about and that's what will uh, then display as the navigation item. Now, I do want to point out that there is a maximum character limitation to the display um, link. So make sure to keep that short and sweet as your main navigation should be. Uh, one of the things that uh, I think the last thing to conclude as it relates to custom pages and navigation, you at the point that you add um, more than typically five pages and really depends on the page title length. Uh, at some point, you know, you could obviously complicate your navigation. So what we do is we automatically will collapse pages that are over a certain length under a more navigation item. So I'm just going to call this, um, you know, uh, slug two. And we'll go ahead and add one more page here, which ought to uh, you know, take up all the real estate in the navigation. And so this will now drop to a more navigation item. And you can see that now just happened in the header. So you see where it says more? So any pages you build beyond a certain limitation will be positioned as a dropdown under the more navigation item. So that brings full exposure to the different features and the workflow that's involved in adding custom pages. Now let's talk about the exciting part of this feature, which is really you know, the sales and marketing application. So as Inksoft customers really requested this feature, and again, it became one of the most uh, popular feature requests, you know, the rationale for why folks wanted custom pages, uh, the, the number one use case was, hey, we love using Inksoft as our primary business website because it has the integrated designer and product catalog and you know, all the other features, uh, transactional features that are involved. But, you know, we really want the ability to create custom pages to do things like promote our own business. So services, you know, about us, testimonials, uh, maybe sh uh, showcase, uh, gallery. Well, now you have full exposure to creating custom pages to support those different needs. So the first thing I would encourage you, uh, if you're an Inksoft customer using uh, st the store framework is, where is your corporate website managed, maintained? What are the costs involved there? You know, can you consolidate that and use Inksoft to power your primary business website? Well, with the advent of custom pages, we bring you, uh, you know, even closer to that as a, as a reality. Now, some of the other use cases, I've already kind of mentioned one. Let's say you're doing very targeted email marketing campaigns or social media campaigns. 
you typically, when you're doing electronic outbound you know, marketing messaging, there's going to be a call to action and there's going to be a click, you know, a button. Go here to do the following. So think about building a purpose-built landing page that's going to relate to that call to action, to that marketing initiative. So now you have a place and a resource to really drive you know, your prospective customers to to take action on whatever marketing positioning or messaging. And one of the, you know, sort of the third major use case for custom pages was the ability to really create targeted landing pages for very specific, you know, sales campaigns. So let's say that you have a a corporate client, maybe they have a bunch of different departments and you really want to uh, create a custom landing page that would be hyper specific to each department, or maybe it's a school or a team. So you could build a page, you could position the right products for that sub group, uh, any kind of marketing messaging or instructions or whatever is important that again is only going to speak to that group. Now you can see if you're not building custom pages for that use case, you would have to put all of that messaging on one landing page on your primary homepage. So that could get cluttered. Uh, it might be hard to navigate. So fact is now you can build custom pages and maintain all that messaging and all that nuance at a very specific and very targeted page. And of course, share that link with that particular group. So this rounds us up. This, uh, you know, again, gives you full exposure into the custom page function that's now available in the Inksoft Online Store Framework. I hope I've exposed ways that you could take advantage of this feature. Uh, there's a, a few other things to notate here. Uh, as I've already mentioned, this uh, was a, a high demand uh, and hot feature request, and we were able to prioritize and respond to that very quickly. So fact is your voice matters and counts, your feedback matters and counts. So please continue uh, you know, submitting your feedback and voting on the feature functions that you think would bring the most value, because that's how we're making decisions internally. Uh, next, I also wanna suggest that if you need help taking advantage of this feature or any features in Inksoft, as always, the Inksoft Success Squad is on standby to give you whatever assistance you need uh, to be successful. Well, thanks for tuning in and learning about the custom page function that's now available in Inksoft and look forward to your feedback. If you have any examples of how you're using this, uh, any success stories, we'd love to hear from you. So you can send that feedback in to support at Inksoft.com and we'd love to hear how you take advantage of this new functionality.